recording so welcome everybody welcome to a channeling of Korea um, today is January the 24th year is 2021 we're still within the first month of the year and time really has um, has, has flown by it's uh, towards the the end of the month now so um, channeling Korea. Korea, just for people who are not um, familiar with who Korea is. Korea is part of the, the Cryon So group. And Cryon is the magnetic, um, it's, it's the, the entity or the um, primordial spirit that is responsible for adjusting the magnetic grid of planets planets like Earth. And um, Cryon has never been human. So Cryon has never taken on a human form. Um, Cryon has always been in spirit form, taking a, a role as supporter. So it's, it's like um, Cryon is, let's say, a playground like Earth when the, the, the magnetic grid of earth is a certain, is a certain um, intensity, it affects the consciousness of the, anyone that is playing in that playground. Because we having a, collectively, we want to have a consciousness jump. So that's why, um, I think it was maybe about 20, 30 years ago, maybe even longer. I, I know the year it's um, 1987. That's around that time. Um, Cryon actually really start to, to show up on Earth and do work on the magnetic grid to start to tune the grid gradually to support the, the changing consciousness of the all the, the, the beings like us that, uh, that is playing on this playground called Earth. And there has been so many layers of energetic um, changes that is really facilitating the, the awakening of a lot more people now than it used to be. It used to be, it takes a long time for someone to really get through all of their, um, I would say, dysfunctional thinking. And now it's easier. I'm not saying that it's, you know, it's just flicking, it's as easy as flicking on the switch. We still have to do some work, but it's actually getting much easier. And so Kriya is part of that group to do the, um, Kriya is more responsible for the, the magnetic grid because there are different grids around the earth. And um, so they are, the grids are really the, the, the matrix. So there is um, different ways for, for energies to come in and these grids really is filtering and directing energies, cosmic energies when it hits earth, before it hits earth, it hits the grid around first and then the grid would distribute the energy around earth in a certain way so that everybody that is on this playground would be able to um, assimilate the, the energies easier rather than getting the whole blast at once. It actually, the, the, the grid around Earth, it moderates how the energy affects each of us in a way that most support us to, to um, how we can utilize that. So that's who queer is. And um, it's a long description. I I um, somehow um, called to have more explanation to what all that um, energy grid is about. So next I would like to just 
lead everybody into a short meditation before I start the, the, the major part of the, the channel from Kriya. So let us all start to turn inward and use our breath to assist us in doing this. So take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, just imagine that you're calling back all of your attention to yourself and let go of needing to think of what happened earlier in the day or what it is that you need to do tomorrow or even right after the channeling. Just be here now. Collect all your attention within yourself and be completely present in this moment. And continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And really put all your focus, the focus of your attention on breathing. Breathing is something that we don't usually give it much thought. And breathing is actually a very good way to start to turn inward. Just by following the rhythm of our own breathing, we can start to get to know ourselves and also send a signal to our unconscious mind that we are paying attention to the communication of the parts of us, the parts of ourselves that is non-physical. Like our breath is non-physical. We cannot see air, but we can certainly feel air. So when we focus on our breath, it's symbolized that we are ready to pay attention to the non-physical parts of ourselves. To start to relax our body as well. And when you feel your body being more, uh, more relaxed, and you feel your shoulders starting to naturally come down when you feel the muscles in your shoulders area or maybe other parts of your body starting to relax more and set the intention the next intention is to put your focus in your heart And imagine that when you breathe, you're actually breathing into your heart. You're pulling energy, pulling cosmic energy into your heart. And when you breathe out, allow anything that is distracting you to just go and leave just like you're breathing out. Let go of those distractions. And connect with your heart. And when you're in your heart, choose to feel unconditional love. Choose to feel unconditional love for yourself, for your body. For all that you are, for everything that you have done. 
to not judge yourself. Let go of the judging and simply focus on the unconditional love and allow this unconditional love for yourself and for your environment for everything that is in yourself and around you Feel unconditional love for all that is. As you breathe in, imagine this warm and fussy feeling of unconditional love growing within you. Allow this unconditional love and this thought of choosing to love yourself unconditionally to be passed along to all of you, all parts of you all over your body, all over your energetic body. And let this unconditional love Be the way that you unite your body, your physical body, with your non-physical body, with your soul. With your entity. And with your highest self, the highest vibration self that you have access to while you are in this body. Breathe in this unconditional love for yourself and as you breathe out send out this unconditional love for all that is all of creation around you And allow this unconditional love to be the means for you to once again be connected with your environment, with Mother Earth. with the being, with the consciousness of this playground that we are on. So that we can be connected with Mother Earth. with everyone else that is also playing on Mother Earth, 
on this beautiful, wonderful playground. And also use this unconditional love to connect with the sun, with Father Sky. with all our brothers and sisters that are not currently playing on Mother Earth. Let our unconditional love also connect us with all of them, with all of existence. connection, unconditional love and connection is infinite. It is what helps us to feel once again what being infinite is. when we love ourselves and our environment unconditionally. It is really a way, a best way of going back. To Eden. It is the best way to let go of our ego. Not because there's anything wrong with the ego. But when we are in the ego, when we see the world from the point of view of the ego, we are disconnected. And it only gives us a certain point of view. And when we shift out of that, when we use unconditional love to assist ourselves to shift out of that, we'll be able to see We'll be able to see our lives, see our reality from a very different point of view, from the infinite point of view. From the limitless point of view. It allows us to connect with everything, with everyone. And when we move through life this way, it's very different. It affects how we make choices. Because we are no longer making choices out of separation. We make choices out of oneness, out of connection, out of love, out of abundance. How different that would be how much more joy we would be able to experience
when we make choices from this point of view. From this point of view, there are some things that will no longer be attractive to us. Things like suffering. How can we suffer when we no longer judge? How can we hate each other when we are so filled with love for ourselves? Even when difficult things happen in our lives and even though we have shifted our point of view to unconditional love, we will still be able to experience difficulties. However, when we experience things that we cannot seem to be able to unravel in this moment, this expanded point of view would allow us to have patience, will allow us to trust that we are never given a puzzle that we cannot solve. We no longer fall into despair, we would know that this too is only temporary and that the solution will show up when the timing is right. And in the meantime, we can still enjoy the process Enjoy being creative. Enjoy trying different things. Enjoy making new connections and learning new things until one day when a light bulb lights up and we'll be able to understand Oh, that is what is going to transform the difficulties. And then it's no longer difficult. It will be enjoyable because you get to learn so many more things. You get to understand reality, understand relationships, and understand creation so much more by having the patience to methodically move through what seems to be difficult at some point. So what is difficult for you in this moment? If you do have something that is, seems to be insurmountable in this moment, it 
may we suggest that you take a different point of view. <clears throat> take the point of view of knowing that this, whatever this issue may be, is here as an opportunity, a learning opportunity, an opportunity for you to look for different ways to be creative, to look for the most creative solution to create it. To look within as well, to dissolve any thinking that is no longer supporting, no longer supporting you to grow. We are here to grow. That is a given. We did not come here to learn nothing. We did not come here to simply exist. We came here to experience, to become more rich in experience, to explore within, to explore who we truly are. And we can only do that if we allow ourselves to be creative. This different point of view, the point of view of being limitless of being connected will be able to show up more and more if we can let go of the dread or the fear that is distracting us in this moment. Every time we come across something that seems to be difficult, that seems to be an opportunity for us to think of a new way to go and find a solution for it. It is really our soul guiding us to overcome the barriers that we have somehow erected in our mind. We have convinced ourselves that this is difficult, that I don't know how to do that right now, and therefore it is bad. Be like a child. Be like a child that sees something that it cannot do at the moment, but is still full of curiosity. Nothing is going to stop a child from 
from finding a solution to get to where they wanted to go. We are all children in this respect. We are learning how to play on this playground called Earth in very different ways now. Because this playground has changed. If you notice very subtly that this playground has changed, or maybe the changes are not so subtle after all. But because of this shift, it seems like everywhere you look, there are difficulties, things that you do not like in this moment. Things that seems to be stopping you in your track. Things that seems to be insurmountable. They are insurmountable if you approach it in the old ways. They are very possible. They are absolutely doable. If you grow, if you allow yourself to grow and look at all these roadblocks from a very different point of view. All of these difficulties that seems to be everywhere now, it seems to be impossible to go through a day without being reminded of the challenges that we are facing right now. And yet all of these challenges are simply symptoms. Symptoms that remind us that we are not approaching. We are not playing in this playground correctly. That is why all these challenges are piling up now. More and more challenges piling up. It seems to be weighing us down. It is a sign. It is the universe giving human beings a sign. There's something here. There is something here to learn, to transform. So when you feel that there seems to be challenges all around you, it is time for you to stop and step back and observe what is the universe trying to tell you. Send intention out. 
Ask the universe, show me. Bring to me what it is that I needed to know. So that I can find a different solution, a way to transform all of this challenges to make it easy. Let go of trying to approach all of these challenges the same way as before. The universe is trying to tell you that you need to change. It is time to change. That is why all the challenges are there. And when you choose to stop and observe and allow the universe to show you the way out. You will start to realize that the universe is working with you. It is a supportive universe. The universe is not out to get you. Far be it. The universe is simply showing you that it is time to make big changes. To completely Go to another level of understanding and go to a different level of navigating your life. Feel the trust. The universe trust in you. The universe knows your thoughts. It knows how you think. It knows what you have experienced. The universe tries to work with you. And sometimes the universe may have underestimated how not easy it is. To navigate in this body because the universe may not have a lot of experience as you. So it's a two-way street. You and the universe, you and your environment, it's a feedback loop. When you stop and allow 
the universe to work with you. And when the universe show you something new, a way out, and you take that opportunity and do it to the best of your ability. It may not be enough the first time. But when you do your part, then the universe learns with you as well. The universe will give you the next step. And then you take that next step and you work with it. to the full extent of your ability. And you make some headway. And then the universe will show you a third step. And you would hold on to that third step and do it to the best of your ability. And it is this way that you and the universe co-create together one step at a time. It may take three steps, it may take 10 steps, or maybe longer and more steps. But when you co-create with the universe, the universe learns. When the universe learns what it is that you will be able to do. And then the universe will be able to pick a better step for you next time one that is more suitable to your temperament and to your ability to navigate changes. And before you know it, you're already out out of the challenges that you found yourself in. Many steps before. And this, this truly is how we suppose to play on this playground. Co-creation. And we know it's not easy. We know how not easy it is for human beings to change. We know how not easy it is to embrace unconditional love. Even though unconditional love is probably the easiest thing that you can do, but because you have found so many different ways to make it hard for yourself, that easy is not familiar. Connection 
is easy, is natural. We have found so many ways to disconnect, not just from one another, but from ourselves. We're so good at that. We're so good at burying who we truly are deep, so deep within. And we have forgotten We've forgotten for generations now. However, remembering does not take generations. Remembering who you are is something that you can do within your lifetime if you should choose. And we highly suggest that you start, all of you start, to make a choice. Make a choice to remember who you truly are. Not your vessel. Not your name. But who you truly are a spirit, who you truly are as infinite, limitless, eternal spirit, who you truly are as the creator of worlds. Choose that. No one can choose it for you. Only you can make that choice. Only you can walk that journey. Choose that. Choose connecting with who you are. Choose to awaken. The eternal parts of you. Choose to awaken that in this body. is what you came here to do. You came here to awaken your body. The spirit, your spirit, already knows, already remembers. It is your body. 
that needed to be reawakened. There's so much you don't know about your body yet, and your body. is limitless, is as limitless as your spirit. So choose, choose unconditional love for your body, for all parts of you. Choose to bring forth the eternal spirit and allow the eternal spirit within you to blossom within this body. Yes, blossom. Choose to fully embody this body as eternal spirit. And allow this eternal spirit to be in this body. An inseparable, an indistinguishable in this body. So that the, this body can be wielded, can be used, can be experienced by your eternal spirit. Without any resistance, Feel the eternal spirit shining through your body. Turning on each and every cell turning on your DNA, all parts of your DNA,
lighting up your DNA. to allow you to experience eternal spirit within this body. Within this eternal body. Infinite you are. Know that your body is here for you. It is not here to fight you. It is here to serve you. When you fully and unconditionally love your body and we have no resistance working with this body, you fully allow yourself to experience what earth, what this playground can offer. You did not come here to survive. You came here, you signed up for this. in order to remember and fully experience eternity in this body. To fully experience creation, your creation, all of your creations. Your body is your creation. You created precisely this body 
in order for you to experience this playground. your time to turn to turn your body on to fully work with your body love your body appreciate accept your body Fully accept your creation so that you too, spirit and body, can become fully aligned. fully aligned to play. Enjoy. Enjoy this play. Earth fully supports you. Spirit fully support you to play full out. We love you. We congratulate you. Congratulate that you made it to this, to this great opportunity to fully enjoy life and play. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to play with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.